surprised me most was the amount of influence I had over a situation and at the same time the very little amount of influence I had over the situation. It was very, um, uh, it was almost full of irony in some ways. It was, you know, how I felt really powerful and really weak at, at the same time, but mostly I felt um, like I was doing a good job. <laughs> and I guess that's what surprised me most, <laughs> is that people thought I was really doing a good job. What surprised me the most as a board of director this year was to actually get insight on, on how the AS really does work and how it's structured and basically not just how the AS is structured but how the AS ties into the entire university and the campus as a whole and then it helped me get more further insight to the rest of the university's dynamics. But there was a couple, like especially the beginning of the year, like three just disciplinary problems just kind of clumped together and I was like, ah! You know, um, it was surprising because it's definitely not in the job description. But. I think the thing that surprised me most is how much power students have. Um, we've just seen a lot of like legislative successes this year, um, and I think that that's a direct, like, direct result of like um, students being down in Olympia, um, the legislative liaison Heather, and then also being like Viking lobby day. What surprised me the most probably was just the fact that you have to work with so many different people while you're in this position. I mean, this is a campus of 15,000 students and there's just a ton of different stakeholders that need to be involved when you're making a decision or trying to pass a proposal or make a policy change. Um, I didn't expect it and it was definitely um, a sharp learning curve. I think beginning new traditions or even pushing back on old traditions. Um, always questioning the process is where uh, we were able to be the most impactful uh, as board members. Uh, we started, um, I, I, I personally felt really uh, proud of the uh, Martin Luther King Day Assembly and not the assembly, wow that sounds really high school, but um, the Martin Luther King, the first annual celebration of uh, Martin Luther King Jr.'s birthday. and. Uh, that's something that I really look forward to coming back to Western and like seeing in future years and seeing how it's uh, growing. I feel as if I was the most impactful in my role um, when I was doing my work with the ROP and the Ethics Student Center and really approaching it in the sense of what changes um, can be made and what, what voices and concerns I have been hearing from students collectively and what I could do about it. So um, I feel like as an impactful VP for diversity, I tried to act upon um, you know, addressing all those things that I heard and then working on um, what I can do with my job and what my job entails and then addressing those issues. Uh, I worked with a group of directors and another VP to create revamp uh, the loan policy, which was really inaccessible. Uh, but we revamped it so that it's a lot more accessible and we'll be able to see a lot bigger shows, bigger events on campus, which I think is like a very direct impact on the student body. Because um, we request for like big names of artists and we just can't bring them because it's expensive. So this should allow for um, programming AS offices to access more funds to bring in bigger names, which is really cool. I think we've seen we've seen like an increase of um, people attending Viking Lobby Day, people attending the United States Student Association conferences, on um, Washington Student Association meetings, and I think that's where I've been the most impactful is um, that I've just really like done a really good job of organizing that. Um, at least I hope so. I spread happiness wherever I go. That's where I've been most. No, um, I think my most impactful area, I guess that's kind of a weird thing to say because everything's a team effort. Um, I wouldn't be able to get anything accomplished without the people in the ESP office, the personnel office, um, everyone. We're all a team and we all work really hard to bring things together. But I think one of the biggest things that I'm really most proud of is renewing the green energy fee now called the Sustainable Action Fund. And it's going to create student jobs, it's going to expand Western sustainability, so it's a really good thing. I'm very proud of it. But I think my biggest takeaway in this uh, experience was knowing that you can still be confident while questioning yourself. So you always, you know, you maintain your thick skin if you can, if you got one, if you need one. A thin skin is perfectly fine too. <laughs> but 
Um, as long as you maintain uh, the way you were and stay true to yourself, but also knowing that you can like second guess yourself while still staying strong in who you are. I think that was the biggest takeaway for me. Because there were a lot of times when I thought I was doing the wrong thing, or I thought that I wasn't trying hard enough, or I thought that I couldn't really do what people asked me to. Um, but I know I stayed. I know I did everything I could. I think my biggest takeaway from being on the board of directors is just all the people that I met and all the opportunities that I've been given to, um, I guess, expose myself to different pockets of the university and different pockets of what kind of diversity initiatives are going on and what groups are working on this, um, but also just like what what action students want to make and, and what, what progress is getting done and what progress they're trying to get done and the people behind all that work. So I think that that's what I'm going to take away the most from my experience. There was a repeal proposal and uh, it got it got really it was like a there, it was really clear that it was like a two it was like a two-sided debate and I think that, that a lot of us got really centered and that's those are the only options and um, I, I think I really pushed for um, trying to getting out of that thinking because I, I don't think that the world is that simple. It's never yes or no. So I, I pushed for that and, and as a result, a task force was created and we're currently looking at, you know, what are the consequences of repealing or keeping it or even creating something else? How does that impact our student body? A lot of people were saying, you know, like, Giselle, you just want to please everybody and you can't. Um, but, you know, what, what I would say to that is, um, what's wrong with that you know it's better than trying to screw people over so um that's probably like my biggest takeaway be confident in yourself because it comes from somewhere it comes from your experience and it comes from um for me it came from a place of caring for um what happens to the students because this was something that really impacted students on a very personal level so I think the ability to work with others, um, we, like the board comes together to make a lot of uh, really important decisions and I think um, being able to listen to what other people's stances are and really like interpret that and learn from it and be willing to be flexible in your opinions and keep an open mind um, because you might actually be surprised to like what other people have to say could like influence your own opinion and so I think that's something I'll take away is to be really like listening to other folks and hear what they have to say and um, working with people to achieve a common goal is really important and then also just like with the other organizations I'm part of, like the Washington Student Association and the United States Student Association, so many student leaders coming together for a common cause, regardless of their like different ideologies and other things that they care about, they do care about student issues, and so I think that's something I'll take away, is just how important the student movement is. I mean, on a personal level, I've made so many new friends, you know, I came to this university and I really didn't do anything for four years except go out and have a good time and um, go to school, and that was about it, but um, this past year I was able to get involved and I've made really some of the best friends and friends for life definitely um, but no it's it's how to work with people and how to be supportive of each other and you know be patient with people that have different views and compromise I think that's probably my biggest takeaway I'm a little more calm yeah I don't know what my future career is going to be so I don't know how my time in the AS will inform my future career but as soon as I find one um, or choose one, or three, I'll let you know. <laughs> um, but I, I did build a lot of uh, strong relationships with people, and I met a lot of people that I know I would not have met otherwise. And so I, I think this has really just opened up a lot of opportunities that I'm excited to explore. I think that my time in the AS will inform my future career in a really positive way because after this I plan to go to law school and um, I know that I'll incorporate all my experiences from being on the board of directors this year and incorporate that with this particular lens that I was able to build and gain from working here and also um, I worked in the ROP last year so I want to use that lens from the Disability Outreach Center and basically apply it to anything that I would do in the legal field. Here I want to be a teacher so um, I think it, it really taught me, so this ultimately this position comes down to a lot of politics, right? 
So um, it kind of taught me that there's politics everywhere, you know, like you just can't get rid of them. <laughs> uh, and they're important. And I used to say like, no, you know, I like, like my my parents would ask me, so are you gonna be a politician now, you know? <laughs> and I'm like, no, heck no, like I don't want to do that. But I don't know that you can help it. I don't know that you can't ever um, not be involved in politics, especially as a teacher. There's a lot of negotiating that goes back and forth between like what you want to teach and what the state wants you to teach and what's really important and uh, what you might consider important. So um, there's a lot of negotiating, a lot of politics that are at play as a teacher. Um, that I think, and I think that's what's going to be the biggest impact, you know, and also being familiar with policy, being able to read policy and be able to make policy and change policy is going to be really important, I think, in the future for me as I try to, you know, make some change. <laughs> I think the ability to work with, a, like, a variety of people, a very diverse group of people with different ideas and ideologies and perspectives, um, I think that I'll take that with me wherever I go. I think um, just being able to listen to other people, especially like students that have concerns and being able to take that feedback and make really hard decisions that could have like lasting effects on things and just kind of dealing with that pressure I think is something I'll take with me too and just also just really enjoying what I do. Um, I really, really love this position and I've had a really good time in my uh, role I think it will have a huge impact. I mean, being in an executive position, I mean, it's it's really, it's been a huge learning experience. I think it's giving me leadership tools, um, negotiating skills. I mean, I'm my next job is going to be as a labor organizer and I think this goes hand in hand with what I'll be doing. So it's huge. and. I can't be happy enough with my time here. Um, don't let them eat you. <laughs> yeah, that's it. <laughs> really take care of yourself. It's really like hard sometimes um, when there's so much to do and like there seems so much that needs to be achieved. Like sitting here like trying to fight the legislature for funding and like it always seems like there's a never never ending list of tasks to do but like I think something that I like have started to do that I wish I would have done more of is just like take care of myself and like maybe spend a couple hours outside the office like going for a walk or like picking up other hobbies I think if I would have go back I would pick up a really cool hobby and like really try to focus on that and also school I think something school like you're just like oh but I'm learning the things that I wanted like I'm doing the things that I'm learning about and so it's like really hard to like kind of step away from like the work and like when you're in the classroom and even though I've used a lot of the things I've learned at work in my papers and in lectures and things I also wish that I would have spent more time just really trying to focus on the material so also like I know like you probably hear this a lot but like you're a student too and, and don't forget that because sometimes I wish that I would have put more effort into school um, especially since I'm like graduating and leaving and things like that and so I kind of wish I would have done that but yeah take care of yourself and take care of yourself as a student too. There's nothing to fear but fear itself. <laughs>